Yo, yo, it's JSF, and it's happening. It's happening. It's finally happening. Just the way I foresaw it, <laughs> just the way I prophesized it, just like I've been telling y'all on this channel for a year plus now, this game is trash. Or at the very least, this game has issues. NetherRealm doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. Blah, 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 blah. They're not testing the game. They're designing a poor game, etc. right? Um, so what am I talking about, right? <laughs> well, I saw something on Twitter. I saw it yesterday, but I saw it kind of blowing up more today. Something that I thought was super duper interesting, right? And there's a clip. So I want to show you the clip first before I, like, dive into the shit, because you got to understand it. So I'm going to just show the clip, and then I'll come back and talk to y'all. Okay, okay, look, 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 look. Look, it doesn't matter! Okay, I'm... Um, this game is complete fucking garbage trash. Like, like, dude. Like, like, look, look, man. So, yeah, as you saw, <laughs> Hayate is very frustrated. Hin says himself, <laughs> this game... You heard the man, you heard the man. But anyway, Dragon posted this tweet, right, yesterday, February 4th, right? And he says, um, Dragon says, or today, actually, why did I think that was yesterday? Um, it says, Hayate's five years of professional fighting game experience was no match for the Shiva. The man said, I don't care how many medals you have. And look, here's the thing. It's literally just, obviously, you saw the clip, it's just Hayate being stomped. And this is a pro-level player. He was a pro-level player at MKX, pro-level player at Injustice 2, pro-level player at MK11. Hayate's a good player. There really isn't a question about whether Hayate's not good or not. He just can't deal with it, etc., right? And I just found this very funny, because then you get into the comments on the tweet, right? Get into the comments on this tweet. We see Deoxys and shout out to Deoxys. He says, they tested that move and said, yep, good to go. And the response underneath him says, they tested it? <laughs> right? And then you see Tweety say, yeah, I understand. They wanted to do like a fair nerf to keep the move good, but it's still bad game design. Unblockable moves if red in a game like this should always be easily avoidable. Silver Eye says unblockable track, unblockable tracking and can be delayed. Like, does that even sound right? <laughs> And then someone else, Devil May Care, who I believe is a KI player, says that's Maya and KI, unblockable heat seeking projectiles active for three whole seconds, blah, blah, blah. But I'm throwing this out the fucking window because in KI there are combo breakers, right? And in KI, uh, it, it needs to, something that I don't know if everybody understands, in KI and Killer Instinct, it needs to be easier to open your opponent up because imagine if it was difficult to open your opponent up. And then they had breakers as well, and combo breakers don't cost anything in that game, right? If you predict the combo right, you break it. But if you predict wrong, and they predict that you're going to predict wrong, the counter breaker is a whole mind game, right? But what I'm saying is, um, it needs to be easier, uh, at least a little bit easier to open people up in that game, because getting opened up in KI doesn't necessarily mean shit, right? You can still break the combo. Like, you still can live. You can get opened up 10 times and not really take full combo damage. That doesn't exist in this game. So I'm not going to let him do that. Um, there are some more tweets. Um, but I find this really interesting. Shout out to Boy Wonder in there. You see Burrito Worries in there. Shiva Stomp should have had the exact same design as MKX Goros. Goros was all reads, no tracking. Fall time is combined. With his tracking, just makes a potato. See, mm, at least he brought up fall timings. At least Burrito Worries brought up fall timings. That's important. But... You know, and then you got Furious Pillow, and shout out to Furious Pillow in here with the tech, right? <laughs> he said, I'm just going to need people to actually use the counter, though. I tested this further, and there is a timing on the initial dash that makes all delays with, but you might actually might not be able to play Aaron, <laughs> Aaron Black. <laughs> he don't even got the worst walk speed, by the way. But um, basically, he's saying if you whip a down two, you back dash and walk backwards, um... You can beat it most of the time. The problem is his counter is still in his own video, and I'm not going to show it, but it's on his suite. In his own video, you see him get hit. Like, hey, here's the counter to Shiva Stomp. He, like, whiffs it down to, he back dashes, then he walks backwards. But he still gets hit sometimes. So, like, if your solution is something that's not, like, guaranteed to be effective, then how is it a solution, right? Anyway, the long and short of this is, and Titanium Tigers is in the comments, which makes it even funnier, it's perfect game design. <laughs> anyway, the long and short of it is what I'm saying is, 
the design is idiotic. There's no question about it. It's idiotic. And like in my last video about Mortal Kombat versus Street Fighter and neutral one game versus the other, this doesn't exist in Street Fighter. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. I mean, Dragon Ball has some absolute bullshit in it, but it doesn't have this. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't have this, right? A lot of games. Every game is gonna have dirt. Every game, for the most part, is gonna have some things that feel BS. But at the lowest level, Shiva Stomp is ridiculously is the best thing in the game. And at the highest level, the highest level players, they still can't deal with it. This is the whole issue with this game. Like, this game is trash. And I know that's some shit that I say a lot, and a lot of people are like, no, you just think, no, 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 it's not, I'm not the only one that thinks it. Like, Dragon is laughing at it, Hayate is literally getting frustrated saying the game sucks. And everybody in the comments is like, bruh. Like, everybody has the same reaction. Like, this is ridiculous, right? There is no way a competent fighting game developer throws this in a game like this. It just doesn't happen. It's a joke. <laughs> so I'm just, I mean, this video is not necessarily necessary. Is that a double? Never mind. That's not important. <laughs> but the point is, the game sucks. And this is the type of shit I'm talking about. It doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter how hard you train. I don't think I'm better than Hayate. I don't think 99% of y'all are better than Hayate. He can't deal with Shiva Stomp. I don't think you can deal with it. You can chalk some of it up to being online, but online is all that we have. And if this game's netcode is as good as everybody says it is, offline should feel just like off online, right? It should feel exactly the same. Online and offline should feel the same, right? It's just a lot of cap. And now I like that Dragon has been vocal. I'm not going to give Dragon shit. Dragon's been vocal about gripes with the game. A lot of top players haven't really said shit, or they say subtle shit, right? But everybody hates this game. Everybody knows this game sucks, right? It's not even a question anymore. Like, just because they don't purposely put it out there, because for whatever reasons they have, I'm not in their heads, I don't know that, but it's not even a question anymore. This game is trash. Like, I'm just, so for the people that wonder, oh, oh why do you play this game? Why do you, why do you just talk negatively about it if you don't like it? It's not that I don't like the game. The problem is not that I don't like Mortal Kombat. The problem is not that I don't like Mortal Kombat 11. There are some things about... I like Mortal Kombat... Let me say this. I like Mortal Kombat 11 more than Mortal Kombat X. I might like it more than Injustice 2. Maybe. Maybe. But the game is fucked up. It's shitty. It's a terrible fighting game. It's horrible. And it's not just me. I, I literally just want to post this just to show y'all that, like, the people that give me shit and, like, get mad at me or talk, like, you know what I mean, talk crazy to me because I complain about this game. Fam, all the niggas that you're standing on Twitch, like, they're saying the same things as me. They're not all doing it publicly, but all your favorite players have the same opinion on this game as me. I'm just the one putting it out here in front of you. I'm just not going to hold back. I'm going to tell NetherRealm, y'all don't know what the fuck y'all doing. Y'all need to hire some new people, like I said. Y'all need to hire X Z's. Y'all need to hire somebody who analytically breaks down fighting games. Hire some old X. Hire some Japanese people, man. Hire somebody who used to work on Street Fighter. Hire... Do something. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> like, this is like, why is it still in the game? And like, like the thing Tweety said, oh, I understand you wanted to do a fair nerf. No. Here's something that I've said for a long time. If a move is this power, like Kodo Khan's unblockable, right? It shouldn't be good. Unblockable moves like this are not supposed to be good. Because if they're good, they're too powerful. If they're at least somewhat useful, if they're good, right? Like, if there's a situation where, eh, maybe you'll be able to get it off. Eh, then maybe we can work with that. But if the move is actually good, viable at a high level, it's too powerful. Because that means at a low level, it's going to dominate. At a mid level, it's going to be a huge problem. And in a high level, it's still viable. It's too good. Shiva Stomp needs to... It shouldn't be in the game, by the way. I've said this before. It shouldn't be in the game. But if it's going to be in the game, it needs to be like Goro's and MKX, like Brito Worry said. Or it needs to just be trash. It needs to be terrible. It needs to be an absolute gimmick. And if you go for it, you should have a whole second of recovery frames. So if you whiff the move once, you're taking a full combo every single time. That's how it should be. But this game isn't designed for people with a brain. This game is not to be a competitive Serious fighting game. It's a joke. It's Mario Party. It's a party game. This shit is fusion frenzy on the first Xbox. That's what this game is. I'm just saying. Anyway, I'm kind of just ranting. I don't really care. Y'all stay safe. I'm getting out of here. JSF, peace.